We continue our team coverage now of the shooting at the Chiefs Victory Parade. Many Missouri lawmakers, including the governor, were in Kansas City for the Super Bowl celebration yesterday. From our Jefferson City Capitol Bureau, Emily Manley joins us now live. Emily, you spoke exclusively with Governor Mike Parson today about this tragedy. Yeah, Mandy, Governor Mike Parson and his wife, First Lady Teresa Parson, were on the opposite side of the stage when shots rang out yesterday. He said that him and his wife were quickly rushed out of the area. Now he wants to make sure that prosecutors do their job because he says the best way to prevent another tragedy like this from happening is to make sure the punishment fits the crime. These people, juvenile or not, need to be held accountable. If you're going to do something like that, you need to be certified as an adult. A scary scene in Kansas City Wednesday as fans scattered to get away from the gunfire. You had a wonderful celebration. You know, you won a Super Bowl. You had a big parade. Everybody was happy. It was joyous. And, you know, and all of a sudden you finish that day with that kind of uh, tragedy that happens. Police say 23 people were injured between the ages of 8 and 47. Lisa Lopez was killed in the shooting. You cannot control uncontrollable circumstances. And I know there'll be a lot of talk about what ifs and should this have happened or should we do things. And I know the politics will get involved in this before it's over. But the reality of it is you can't control people like that when they're going to do bad things. Missouri is known for having some of the laxest gun laws in the country. No permit is needed to buy a gun, and the state allows for open carry. I don't think you need stronger gun laws in the state. We need to enforce the ones we got. I can tell you what, a, a victory parade will never be the same. A public celebration will never be the same. Democratic Representative Maggie Nuremberg was also at the rally. She and her sister were inside Union Station when shots rang out. We just hid. Like, we ran in there and we had some kids with us um, who, had, you know, were separated from their families. So we had two little boys and a little girl with us, and it was my sister and I, and we just hid and sheltered in place. She, like many Democrats, are pushing for stricter gun laws. 800 trained law enforcement who are armed, who are at the ready to respond, it still isn't fast enough to save lives when there is a shooter and a massive crowd. And that's the part that it just, it, like I say, it just breaks my heart and it makes me so mad. But Parson says that's not the solution. Judges and prosecutors need to do their jobs. And I just don't believe Missourians are going to go down that road. Uh, of not giving up their guns in this state. I just don't believe they will. I think people want to protect themselves. For instance, just what happened yesterday. Parson tells me that he is in constant contact with the Kansas City Police Department, the chief, and the mayor. He says he's also willing to do whatever it can to help those impacted by yesterday's tragedy. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.